Welcome to today's devotional, Encourage One Another, a Bible devotional for Lent, or really any time of year. Hi everyone, this is Sarah from SundaySchoolNetwork.com. During Lent, many people give up something they enjoy eating, such as chocolate or other favorite foods, in order to focus on and consider anew the sacrifice Jesus made for humankind. However, this season, rather than giving up something outward and physical, I suggest giving up discouraging words. Have you ever been insulted or maligned? It's difficult being on the receiving end of dispiriting words. Those words can cut to the heart and be difficult to shake off. They can wound us temporarily or even give us a lifetime of pain, a witness to the power of our words. If this is true, and I believe it is, then the opposite must also be true. Encouraging words can lift us up, heal us, and give us hope for the future. Scripture tells us to encourage others daily so they are not hardened by sin's deceitfulness. Encouragement is not flattery, sweet talk, or a superficial pat on the back. We are instructed to encourage or exhort others. This term comes from the same root word parakletos that Jesus used when speaking of the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, in the prayer for his followers in John chapters 15 and 16. It's a term that calls to mind that of coming alongside, comforting, coming near, or praying. So how do we do it? How can we be encouraged and how do we become encouragers? True encouragement grows out of a deep faith walk with God and with one another. It requires our time and selfless devotion. It seeks to lift up and heal helping others grow closer to God so they can press on in their faith and be better suited for serving in God's kingdom. There are dozens of Bible verses that train us to be encouragers. May these sampling of scriptures encourage you today. Jesus, our hope, encourages us. Salvation encourages us. The Holy Spirit encourages us. God's Word encourages us. The faith of other believers encourages us. Fellowship with believers encourages us. The truth of Scripture encourages us. Serving God encourages us. Anticipating the Lord's coming encourages us. I encourage you to use BibleHub.com to look up the rest of them. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, during this season of Lent, help me to give up discouraging words and seek to encourage others daily. Amen. Friends, thank you for listening. Do you observe Lent in a special way? Tell me about it in the comments below. And if you've been encouraged by this message, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And in the description below, I placed a link to the written portion of this devotional. In it are the Bible references mentioned here. I also invite you to become a part of this ministry by subscribing, and make sure to hit the bell to be notified when I upload new content. God bless you. Stay close to Jesus.